what's going guys, it's Deathmonk here, today we're going to be talking about uh, what's new in Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 3 Season 4, entitled Paradise. Now, this is about to be going live uh, a bit later on today, and we're going to be learning everything that we need to know, or what's changed within Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 3 Season 4, Paradise. Now, uh, for those who don't know, or for those who have been living behind a rock for the last few weeks, uh, Mysterious substance has appeared on the island. Chrome will consume all. Chrome will be all. Embrace the chrome by turning structures chrome, making yourself chrome, and proving the power of chrome weapons. That's basically more or less what it's all about. So, we're going to take a look at this rather interesting trailer that's just dropped on Fortnite's um, YouTube channel. So, let's check this out here, guys. Just go full screen here, Tell me you're getting somewhere. We've already lost so much of the island to that chrome. That's not surprising given the sample's behavior. I've never seen such accelerated cytokinesis. Whoa! I'm starting to think this may be a problem. Get out of here! That's an order! This isn't how it ends. So I want to know what you guys thought about that, let me know in the comments box down below. So what you guys saw was very interesting. So basically uh, the foundation, um, the origin skin, were all getting affected by this chrome. After looking through like their telescopes, and, not telescopes, um, microscopes I should say. And that's what led to foundation getting affected. Now, we believe at this present moment in time that the Bloom Watcher that we saw towards the end of this trailer has obviously something to do with this chrome. And also, uh, we actually managed to see Brie Larson, who is the uh, actor who plays Paradigm as part of the Seven. So that's really interesting there. So as you guys can see, that uh, specific uh, bit of chrome on you guys are seeing in the trailer again is actually Bloom Watcher. And she's the one that's been controlling the island since the very start of chapter 3. Uh, specifically with the reality tree and everything else. So that's really interesting there. Uh, apparently we also got the ability to phase through walls. So not even wood, stone, brick or metal is a match for chrome. An enemy built for structure for defence? Throw a chrome splash at the walls to make the walls penetrable. Jump right through the building and get the drop on your opponent. So basically... Um, if someone has got a basically a structure that's made out of solid chrome, then these apparently chrome splashes, which I believe are this this item right here, uh, can be splashed at the walls to make them more easier to get through. So that's interesting there. Uh, the best shape of your life. You can't beat it, so be it. Throw down a chrome splash to chromify yourself. You'll be pure chrome for a limited time, meaning you'll be immune to fire damage and become a blob when sprinting. But don't let this bulb respawn fool you. While blobs, you'll move faster, be immune to fall damage, and gain the ability to air dash. Dash into any building piece to chromify it, then phase through it. That's interesting. Home sweet chrome. Chrome's not only taken over points of interest, it's also a brand new one. Ascend Herald's Sanctum near the abandoned sanctuary and stand atop this tower of honourable and hexagonal foundations. Now just to give a bit of an idea as to the new map itself, uh, shout out to Fortori, who's uh, apparently um, 
redesigned it. So he's got Lustrous Lagoon, apparently he's going to be taking over uh, Lazy Lagoon. Herald Sanctum taking over the, the Sanctuary. Shimmering Shrine, I think it's taking over the... The name of it's there, but I, I can't remember the name of it. And Fort Jonesy taking over the Joneses, of course. Cloudy Condors has also changed as well, so that's really interesting there. Um, a new kind of high ground. In their fame of Chrome, some island locations are seeking safety in the air, most notably Condor Canyon. Now called Cloudy Condos, attack from above and there's expanding POY. One way to get up there, use a D launcher available in different places on the island to help you gain higher ground. Now, that's really interesting there. I think this was in um, the Save the World um, game mode, but I think it's now recently just made its way into Battle Royale, so that's interesting. Battle with Better with Age. Chrome's introduction caused by the creation of the evil Chrome Shotgun and Burst Rifle. Find these weapons from Chrome Chests, then see their rarity increase the more you damage opponents with them. Take them from Uncommon to Mythic. So that looks really interesting there, guys. Um, I like the designs of them, to be quite honest with you. Weapons BCE, or before the Chrome era. Some pre-paradise things are alright. Use strategies from yesteryear with unvaulted weapons and return in vibing weapons. Holy cow, that's a lot. Right, um, sidearm pistol, prime shotgun, lever action shotgun, rapid fire SMG, suppressed SMG, ranger assault rifle, hammer assault rifle, designated marksman rifle or DMR, hunter, hunter bolt action sniper, grenade, firefly jar, harpoon gun, Shadow Tracker, the Dub, Boot Sniper Rifle, and Boogie Bomb, as well as the Shockwave Grenade. So that's interesting. Bring me Sniper Love. So it looks like back in Chapter 3, Season 1 flipped, uh, we actually had the Punter Bolt Action Sniper. Now, I'm pretty sure, now for those who don't know, now these can actually one shot kill opponents, like they couldn't in the previous seasons. So that's really interesting. Alongside that, we've got the hunting rifle, the automatic sniper rifle, the lever action rifle, suppressed sniper rifle, semi-auto sniper rifle, railgun, but the damage has been de uh, increased, bolt action sniper, heavy sniper, storm storm sniper, and boom sniper. So pretty much all, <laughs> all the uh, snipers that we all known and loved in the past have all made their way back to Fortnite, as well as in Zero Build. The keys to success. Becoming Chrome isn't the only way to unlock your potential. There's a good chance you'll come across keys on the island. Use them to open vaults containing loot. Low security vaults require one key to open. High ones, high security vaults require two. Where to find this locked loot? After collecting one or more keys, you'll see keyhole sound on your map to help you out. Bunker down. Under assault from enemies, deploy pot and cover fast with a pot a bunker, which is replaced with a pot of fort. Throw down the portal bunker to create an instant 1v1 structure featuring reinforced metal walls, a versatile ramp, doors and defensive tyres to bounce away would-be invaders. No building required. So apparently we've also got the about the battle pass. Um, assemble and collect a crew of in your enjoyment of paradise with this season's battle pass purchase. You'll immediately unlock Paradigm Reality 659. And enemy, if enemies of Chroma your thing, progress through the battle pass to unlock Spider Gwen plus the following characters. Bite, Grizz, Meow Skulls, Lennox Rose, and Tween. For those devoted to the Chrome, don't worry, the Herald, which is aka, which is what we believe to be called Bloom Watcher, becomes available to unlock later in the season. Slide Kick. Oh yeah, I'll now knock back upon opposing players when sliding into them. So if you slide into a uh, random enemy, it'll basically slide into them, then basically kick them away. I guess you could say. So that's interesting. Now let's check that out. Um, five light shots and shockwave grenades are not included in competitive playlists. Um, and finally we're going to check out the Battle Pass trailer. So that's going to be interesting. Let's check this out here, guys.
Now, that was really interesting there, guys. I want to know what you guys thought of that. Let me know in the comments box down below. Um, I've noticed some rather interesting things in that, so I'm just going to put this down to half speed. So if we look at this back, um, what we saw was basically an essential map itself. Not all of the map, but the majority of the map has all been turned into Chrome, which is, uh, of course, being uh, deliberately given to us by the Bloom Watcher. Now you will also notice, um, you've also got the Tornado, which has also been turned into Chrome as well. So basically, more or less, anything that's on the land has also been turned into Chrome as well. There we get a shot of the Spider Gwen, of course, from this Spider-Verse. So she'll be coming to the uh, game fairly soon, from what we understand. There we get a shot of Brie Larson, aka the Paradigm. So, so we now know the identities of two different uh, members of the Seven now. Uh, there we get a shot of... The Herald, I believe her name is. So that's really interesting there. Um, now this that substance there we can actually phase through or walk through. Similar, well, not in a similar fashion to Harry Potter when he walks through the wall of platform nine and three quarters. But uh, that's really interesting. Now, if you remember back a few seasons, well, back a few chapters ago, but in chapter two, season maybe five or something like that, we can bury it under sand. Now we can do this under Chrome, so that's really interesting. Now, I feel phasing through walls might be a little bit overpowered, but I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. Let me know in the comments box down below. I'm keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Here we go. Phasing through the walls. Of course, affected by Chrome. <coughs> uh, I think this must be the new Condor Canyon. There we go. Shallows, um Spider-Gwen doing backflips off the top of one of the bridges there. Now this could be the new uh, castle, from what we understand. What is that weapon? That looks really sick. I would love to check that out. Hopefully that's in game very soon. Get a shot of a uh, few members of the um, Seven as well as other skins. Then we get a shot of finally the Herald doing it, one of her abilities. Now we're up for a very sick live event very soon. So what know you guys thoughts are? Please do let me know in the comments box down below. I'll get you guys some gameplay very soon here on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and applause, subscribe button if you're new, thumbs up if you're excited for it. Don't forget to use my support code called the Atom Shop, definitely 992, and it's on screen right now in the description. See you in the next episode.